The next shop we're going to review is Lucky Kennels, and they're selling custom wooden dog crate furniture. And they even got their website there, Lucky Kennels, and this dog here. Yeah, from the, the small photo, it looks kind of funny. It looks cute. He looks kind of like, hey, hey, guys, come check out my kennel. It's really cool. So let's go ahead, check them out here. So we've got dog kennel. Is that a TV stand? That is, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I didn't know. I've never even thought of that. Dog kennel, number one on Etsy. Entertainment dog center. That is just so funny. I don't have a dog. I don't know what it would be like, but it's, I, I don't know. That's just so funny that the dog would be right there. I feel like I would never be able to watch TV. I think the dog would be moving around doing stuff all the time, but it is smart to not take up a bunch of extra space. You know, you can put the little, little puppy right there. So let's go ahead. Dog kennel, number one on Etsy. Um, the key, well, doesn't really help. It, that helps you sell the product. You know, if you're number one on Etsy, that's great. But it's not a, really a, a keyword that's going to help you out too much. But your keywords are on point right here. Dog kennel, entertainment center. Um, and you, I, I would say, you know, you can even do dog entertainment center as your as a keyword. We've got dog kennel, custom handmade kennel, dog bed, dog crate. So we're looking through it. Looking through it. We make your dog stream come true. Lucky kennels. And I see you've got different colors here. Okay, you've got all these different types of wood. And we've got here red mahogany, cherry. Okay, that's the smart there. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Red mahogany. And you've got different sizes. 50, 72. Okay, great. So all the details nicely there. Only photo I would really say that's missing is one with the with the dog in there, you know. Um, if you're selling a, a dog kennel, why not put the the dog in the photo and let him let him sell it? You know, everybody loves dogs, right? So if you've got a picture, dog people love their dogs. So if you got a picture of a, of of your dog actually inside this thing, that'd be great too, because then they could see they could see the pooch, what he looks like, how how happy he is inside it. You know, you want to get him real nice and happy. You want to like, here, boy, want a treat? And he's like, yeah, and then psh, snap your photo, and getting him look all cheesy. But that would be great too, because it you know use the dog to sell it. People love their dogs and they love seeing a happy dog. So if you put him in there and, and you got a picture of him looking happy and he's smiling and grinning, um, you know, that would help you out a little bit as well. Kind of show it off a little better. Look at that. This turned out amazing. Customize it. So I had three slots under the TV. That's pretty smart. This one. Oh, I see two versus three. Look at these little guys. <laughs> They're just sitting in there. That is just so funny. Look at those little guys. They're just chilling. They're chilling in their little kennel there. That's so funny. And there they go. Yeah, they got the blankets down there. And that's the other thing. You could put a photo showing the uh, the blankets or whatever you call the little beds down there. So you could see how well it would fit. Um, but all in all, great looking product. Lucky Kennels. You guys are you guys are doing a great job here with the pictures. Now, the one picture that I think is a little bit missing is the actual thumbnail like this one shows it off pretty well you know it shows the whole product um this one you know you've got half of it cut off you only got half of it right here so now this one shows it off but it's not like a real bright picture it, it's a good picture it's not a bad picture but it could be better you know and this is kind of where your shop is at you're doing well you're making sales 345 sales number one on etsy so if you can get your photos even better and even brighter looking this one i kind of like because it's more of a uh, a bench and i think i think that photo shows it off better i uh, this one at least it shows it off better because you can kind of see the whole thing you see the pillows on top so you can see that it's a bench um i don't like that you've got the the logo as your number two photo i and i see it on a few on each of your maybe not all of your listings but several of them the logo is not really it's not really selling anything um you know it's not really providing any helpful information to to the buyer so i i think you're 
you know, it's not really useful to have there. They already know what your shop is called right here, Lucky Kennels. Um, you could put it as your last photo, but I think as your number two photo, it's a bit of a turnoff for me if I was looking through something. Um, it's kind of like when you watch a YouTube video and at the beginning of every video on the YouTube channel, they play this long intro and they show their logo. It's like, I know who you guys are. I'm watching your video on YouTube. You don't need to tell me who you are again. So I think, and you've got it right here in this photo as well. So I would remove that and, um, I wouldn't have that as my, you know, number two photo. That's for sure. But overall cute looking item right here on this one, Paris, number one on Etsy VOC free. None of those are really keywords, uh, double dog kennel. That's a good keyword right there, but that's not really a keyword. You know, if no one's going to search number one on Etsy and think that they're looking for dog kennels. So I would recommend, you know, you could put number one Etsy at the bottom if you want to put that on there. Um, VOC free. I don't know what that means exactly. I've heard of that before, but I don't know. VOC free. Yeah, it's not really a strong keyword. So this listing right here, just kind of you're totally missing the the the, the boat on these keywords here because those don't mean anything. Paris, number one on Etsy, VOC free. And your real keyword is right there, double dog kennel. And you could even go ahead and use some other keywords like small dog kennel, um, you know, whatever kind of dog this would fit, small dog fat kennel, um, and other specific keywords like um, what are the different breeds of dogs? Um, you know, the different specific breeds of dogs. I, I can't remember what, you know, I can't remember what any of these dogs are called. What are the little cute short ones? I don't, I don't know what they're called right now. I can't, my mind is blank. But if you had other keywords that specifically, you know, if you said Chihuahua dog kennel or um, Corgi dog kennel, that's the word I'm thinking of, Corgi dog kennel, that'd be great too because you, because people are going to be searching for kennel specifically for their dog. Awesome. So 